again. You've been found guilty on one count of burglary and two counts of auto theft. You'll cut their hair the way I cut mine. It must be great to be called the it girl. Is more He's to like to a comedy than a hero. The one who will I wanna to be like me. him. This is my hero. Well, Al Capone, I wanna be you. Excuse me. Just testing out the old pipes. Hey guys, welcome back to Frenemies. I'm Ian, and we are back with more Batwoman. So last episode, uh, Alice confessed to Kate that she is Beth, and then she also let her know that she knows that she's Batwoman. I think that's what that was supposed to be for. I mean, I know she knows. Pretty sure, and I know Kate knows, but I don't know if that was supposed to be like telling her I know who you are. Might have just been like, yeah, this is a dead bat. You know, if you continue on this road, this is going to be you. Could have been both. Because I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that moment whenever she was saving her and, you know, Beth put her hand on Kate's masked face. That was a moment that I'm pretty sure that she would have known that she, she knew who she was. But anyway, so yeah, Luke um, figured out a bit on the back computer, was able to help her out, was able to resuscitate her. Um, to, he activated the defibrillator in a suit so she wasn't caught by the cops. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, Kate's relationship with Sophie is a little dicey at the moment. A bit rickety. Um, uh, oh, right. Jesus. Um, her stepmom, right? Stepmom? Um, what's her name? Hold on. What's her name again? Catherine, I think her name was. I can't. I don't. I don't, have, I don't think I wrote it down. But I think her name's Catherine. Um, she's responsible for the people, the guys that jumped Kate and Sophie to get the knife. She's trying to hide all the evidence that, or hide evidence that that connects, that could connect Beth to Alice. I don't know if she like knows for sure, because she also, there's also that bit in the in the cut the cut scene, the flashback. Was it the the dad was saying? Uh, I forgot name for a second. Catherine's detectives, or detective, uh, found skull fragment with uh, Beth's DNA. So I don't know what's her deal. I don't know if she needs her dad. Um, yeah, I don't really. I'm not really sure what her, what her deal is. There's obviously something hinky going on. Just uh, not not really sure of the reasoning. I mean, I I. She hasn't hidden the fact that she doesn't like the Batman. I don't know, if, like she just her deal is to get rid of any thought of the Batman out of the city. I don't really know. Whatever. Um, probably find out more throughout the season. Um, but yeah, that's where we were left off. So that being said, we're gonna go ahead and jump to the episode. Catherine Hamilton's investigators found bones. 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 Can't say I Jimbo. Will you? Won't you? Will you? Won't you? Will you come and join the dance? Are you suggesting that I put it back on? No. <laughs> Being a hero is not your strong suit. I would know All seeing right. as you let dad declare me dead. Where's my boyfriend? Oh. <gasps> you are going to be very annoying, aren't you? Very. Fine. No killing. Okay, people, Vesper Fairchild here. So I'm staring at my wall chart. Has it really been 10 days without a Batman sighting? Anyone else feeling ghosted? Talk to me, Gotham. Where's Batman? She's a different kind of superhero. Oh. Sophie, hey. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if she was uh, dating again, seeing as she's single oh. and gorgeous oh. and emotionally available. Oh. Do you normally stay out all night when a psychopath is targeting your family? That. It's the sound of me officially having more money 
than Bruce Wayne. Tommy Elliot. What? How the hell did you even get in here? Uh, what's up, Candy Kane? So, um, where's uh, Bruce Boy? I wanted to uh, invite him to celebrate my new pile of bricks. Bruce hasn't been in Gotham for three years, you know that. Yeah, but he's back now. No, he's not. I'm pretty sure he yeah. is. Trust me, I'd know. Maybe just leave it on his desk. Uh. Will do. Crap, yep, he knows in here too. Super. What is this? Not yours. Is it Jimmy a grappling hook? So, okay, okay, yeah. Twice the hook, twice the chance for disaster. I'll say side grappling hook. The camera uses a Does that clear the area? We're en route now. Okay. You can stay back, figure out what they took. I'll check this out. Okay. We're gonna use that later, right? Today it's an effigy. But what happens when your enemies start to kill real people in order to draw you out? The Gotham you set out to protect is now less safe because of me. So, what's the deal, Batman? Uh. Are you really gonna let... You wanna know why Kate's not a crow? It's because you're a crow. It's because five years of training was easier to walk away from than going to work with the girl who broke her heart. Hmm. <laughs> Not Bat the reason, but dang. Of a military grade Kevlar. Doesn't make a dent. Yeah, you know, it, it, it stings a little. Just uh, for reference. Yeah, but you don't die. This. So, I mean, we have another copy of the suit. Oh, Jesus. You're going to fix that, right? The invitation wasn't for me, it was for Bruce. Tommy is adamant that he's back in town. Why would he think that? Because, because if Batman's Batman. back, Bruce is too. Tommy's parents were in that car accident. That man pulled his mom from the fire. Why yeah, he don't like his parents. No idea. I'll go ask. <sighs> well, let's go. Kate, her best. Well, boyfriend's gone. <laughs> what about you, Kate? <laughs> what brings you to an adult frat house? I was told to move on. At least you get to work with your wife. Yeah. You know, speaking of, I, I didn't catch how you and Sophie knew each other. What do you mean? Well, she. She never told me she was French with the boss's daughter. She didn't tell you who I am? No. I'm Kate from Point Rock. Oh, oh, you went to the academy together, right? That explains it. That explains it. <clears throat> Yikes. Well, the boss is here. He married your ex and has no idea. Wow. Wow, thanks. You're good. Professional level. Started bartending before no, I'm suspicious of you. To read people. All right. Danger. Hazardous waste. King of real estate thinks he's doing us all a favor. Psychopath. He really just helps fund the walls that are separating our city. Gotham. I don't think Alice is going to be a problem today. Well. What's that supposed to mean? Twin instincts. Uh, instincts are bit off. Good news is the morons who took it probably don't realize there's a hidden GPS tracker inside the device and. It's only a matter of time before Wayne security comes knocking on their door. Unless he knew about that and put it somewhere else and didn't care. Uh, I don't think either he didn't take it or he's because I know he's smart. Which he's supposed to be. It's over, Tommy. This isn't yours. You don't want to get in my way. How do you know who he is? You mean that man? Because a few months ago I paid a man to riddle me the answer. Gotta love the Honorable Bruce Wayne for designing a fail-safe so he could never become too powerful in his super suit. He is such a great guy. He's your best friend. Yeah, he was the bestest. Thanks to him, instead of collecting my inheritance, I was left wiping the spittle off a jabbering mad woman's lips for 13 years. If you wanted him dead, why wait until he's in a bulletproof suit? Because Bruce didn't run my life. 
Batman did. Next ones in an hour. It'll look like this. But with people the city will actually miss. They're actually dead? Secret or something? No. Why would it be a secret? I don't know. Why would you never mention her? She's our boss's daughter. Didn't I mention her? No. So if you didn't. I don't know. We weren't that close. It never occurred to me. Jesus, for real, Sophie? Anyone want to try prying open the doors? I mean, now's not the time for this conversation. But. Tommy right. wants Batman. Do some quick touch the up. City needs Batman. Or er. I'm not Batman. But maybe I'm better because I'm here. How long is that gonna take to fix? Okay. So really, how, how seriously? How long is he? How quick is this dude? <laughs> I want Batman, not a side piece. I found Tommy. Activate the Gross. deceptor in the gauntlet. When the light flashes green, his gun will neutralize. Yeah, that's not happening. Did you charge the glove? Wait, what? Where's oh. Batman? Kate. Okay, activated the charge. You need to stall for 30 seconds. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Stalling. Oh. Breaking. Come on. I'm done with you. Oh, thank God. <sighs> I mean, I knew she was going to die. But... Oh. The, the, the double grapple thing. What the hell was that? Didn't expect her. Red wig. I'm the crazy one. I mean. They're not going to guess who it is. They say if you want to quit, you have to really want to. And well, I didn't want to. You see, 24 hours is a really long time. I guess you're going to have to let my sweet dog sin die. Like I said, death is gone. Then why save me? Because I have plans for you, Kate. Right money in the right hands. I will be out in an hour. They're taking you to Arkham, Tommy. Good luck buying your way out of that. You tell Bruce that I won't stop until he shows his face. Catherine? Catherine? There you are. I was afraid of letting down you, Bruce. But whatever happens, whatever I face, it's worth it. The bat is back, just curvier and sexier. So the big question, what are we calling her? Oh, bat rude. lady, bat chick? Talk to me, Gotham, we need a name. Batwoman. I think so, think. All right, so we got Tommy Elliot. Um, doesn't seem like the exact same, obviously, because it's, you know, Arrowverse, they're gonna change a couple things. Doesn't seem as smart as Tommy Elliot I more remember, or com combat capable. Uh, and, but he's, he's outed as, you know, psychopath and a killer. Um, or he didn't kill anybody yet, I don't think. I think everybody that fell in the elevator is still alive, apparently. So that's surprising. That was kind of a fall. And he's being sent to Arkham. And he apparently paid Riddler for bat for the answer to Batman's secret. So Riddler knows, too. I know Riddler eventually figures it out, but I don't think that, one, that he would have been named up right now, and two, that he would have figured it out by this point. But, I mean, like, clues are there. So if anybody would actually, would actually figure it out in a show, it would be Riddler. I mean... Batman disappears, Bruce disappears. Kind of a 
staring at the face kind of a thing, but television needs to happen, as do comics. The thing at the end, I, I can't quite... I couldn't quite make it out. Well, let me just... Let me see if I can... What is she saying at that, like at the end of that? She says, "Wait, if you think Tommy's annoying, wait till." And then I can't. I think she just waits. I can't quite make out what she's saying. I can't. I'm sorry if it's pretty easy, but for some reason I can't make it out. I don't know what it is. But if you guys know what she says, let me know. If it's nothing important, please let me know anyway. Because I'm just, I'm just curious. <laughs> um, I might hear it while editing. Maybe it'll be easier somehow. I don't know. Um, also, I don't know who this Regan character is. Is it someone she's actually into, or is it someone that's... I don't know. She. I'm just... When it comes to these shows, I, I become suspicious very quickly. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm wondering... If he had figured out... Uh, I'm sorry, going back to Tommy. If he figured out that uh, Kate's now this bat person... Um, because I mean, I mean, I know he didn't figure out that Bruce is Batman, but the only thing he also said, um, I, I'm not interested in his side chick, which is if, if he knew who that was, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have made that comment. I'm assuming I was expecting him to be a little bit more of a challenge, I guess, um, like maybe another overarching villain, but I mean. We have Alice, which I'm assuming is supposed to be the overarching villain of this of the show, which is interesting because we're supposed to get for the crisis. I don't know I don't know like what the timeline is for the show exactly, like what we're doing, like if we're um, if we're gonna be doing any time jumps, because you know the crossover this year is supposed to be after the crossover from last year, where Kate was already Batwoman. So I don't know what's going on here, um, but she's got her. You know, Batwoman ness now, so that's cool. I like how it was just like a simple repainting. I thought I, I kind of thought they were gonna do a little more than that. I didn't, I didn't think it was. I mean, I feel like they probably did in the actuality of it, because I mean, spray painting over, you know, whatever material it is wouldn't have looked so clean. But you know, whatever. <laughs> um, needs to show. They needed to show that it, you know, it wasn't gonna be like this extraneous process, so that it could be done quickly. Um, and I do like the reasoning. For this, like I thought in the because in the trailer, I'm pretty sure they said that uh, like Kate said, I don't want um, a man taking credit for a, uh, I think she said a woman or taking credit for me or a woman's whatever. Um, I thought that reasoning was a little flimsy, just because I mean, if it was a woman, I don't think you would want them taking credit either. The reasoning for this one, I I actually enjoy uh, and it works a lot better. Once she felt guilty that she was giving them hope that it was Batman. Um, and kind of bringing out his older enemies, his old enemies like like Tommy apparently, um, and it could have drawn other villains like Riddler. I mean, he's an I think, I'm guessing he's an Arkham. I don't know. Um, but there's other villains out of hiding or whatever. I guess they're in hiding, because um, they you know they think Batman's back, and she doesn't she didn't feel like she could live up to that. But but making them realize that it, that Batman's not back, it's somebody else. She can give them something, one, like, um, physical to actually hold on to, something that they can actually see, and not that Vesper, was it Vesper Fairchild, I think her name is, not to, like, go on about how, you know, Batman, oh, where are you? Well, you're gonna let some little prank, whatever, you're gonna let that, you're gonna let that go, or whatever, you want you, you know, come out and put a stop to it, I'm like, this was kind of, this was a pretty, not disturbing, I guess, it was a mannequin, so it wasn't like they put an actual person in a suit and then kill the person, or Tommy, unless he probably paid someone to do it, I don't know, I don't know, that just like her, the way she went, I, actually, I just don't like what she, like her, best prepared child, I don't know what it is, just, something just seems so fake about her character, I guess, I mean, I know we don't see her, but just, you know, her dialogue, it's, I just, it's just not my favorite out of the show, but I thought the, I thought the episode was pretty good, though, um, we have the whole, you know, um, I just, Beth, Jesus, I don't know what's wrong with me today. Um, you know, she wound up breaking into the house. Or uh, first, Beth and Kate. She was trying to get Beth to not kill anybody, so that maybe she could try to sort of bring her back, or at least slowly bring her back, at least work her way, work her way to that. Um, offering her boyfriend's freedom, well, the possibility of her boyfriend's freedom, and then she just kind of, well, you know, she's gonna let him die. 
<laughs> after she, she showed her that she actually wound up killing um, somebody that was guarding their uh, uh, her dad's penthouse, her dad's stepmom. So I don't think she actually lives there. I think she was just while she's here. I think she's staying there. I don't know if she like lives lives there. I don't know. Maybe she does. She also said that she she wants her to not think of her as her sister anymore. But in the first episode, didn't she say you and I will rule the city together? I thought she wanted to bring her on her side. So that doesn't mean is that not just the same thing as she does she want that but still not want her to think of her as her sister? Her sister? Because I'm pretty sure Beth still thinks of Kate as her sister. I don't, it just that's what it seemed like. I don't know. And then also, um, when she broke in, she well she said well she was ta she called um. I can't remember his name. I always for keep forgetting it. Um, but you know the dad. She called him. Um, playing the cello, playing the song that, that they had said. She had said somebody had said that it was their song, and saying all these things that were kind of like would convey you know the emotion that somebody would feel if they felt that they were abandoned, and it, it did seem to kind of get to him. Like I mean, some you can't not. It's kind of difficult for something like that not to be to not get to whether it's like your daughter or not whether it was actually her daughter like those things that she was saying it's kind of harsh like he's if he'll have it that in the back of his mind is like someone saying that he gave up on his on his daughter which is not something that um a parent like him like a good parent would want to hear but she did leave for specifically for Catherine. Uh, playing cards saying 283. I don't know exactly what that's supposed to mean. And, I mean, Catherine obviously knows what it means. It's supposed to say that means something to her. I don't know if, it, if, we're supposed to, if I'm supposed to understand that. It's like a comic reference. I'm sorry. I don't know what it is. But Catherine obviously knows. So let's. Something's. So apparently she is responsible, assuming. This. She did know Beth was alive before, like when she was a child. And there was that nightmare that Kat, uh, Beth had. I don't know if that, like, that's nothing to do with Catherine as well. If she was responsible for that. I'm really curious to find out like, what's going on with Catherine. Why she's not wanting her, her husband to have her daughter back. I mean, she seems to be manipulating him. But, excuse me, but I don't know what for. Like, is it she just wants the crows? Because I don't think the crows were a thing when Kate and Beth were, or when, yeah, when they were young. When when um, his wife was his, his first wife was alive, I mean they never said anything about it. But I'm assuming that they weren't a thing. I don't know why. I'm not sure what. I don't know. I'm just so confused. I'm just not sure what her plan is. Like what what is the reasoning behind she's doing all this? Why does she hide Beth's uh, the fact that she survived? Another thing is some does strange. Sophie asked the bodyguard Mary. I mean, I'm assuming it's to try to get information on Kate and to get evidence that she's um, Batwoman. She obviously is still suspicious and pro and like kind of basically knows whether she admit Kate and Kate admitted it or not because she, you know she was listening to Kate uh, Vesper Fairchild on the radio talking about um, giving uh, Kate her name, going with Bat Shaken. What is the other? One? What did she say? Is there a bat chick? I'm pretty sure there's no bat chick in the show or in the comics. So. <sighs> I don't know. I don't like her, <laughs> Mr. Fairchild. I don't really care for her character in this bat, bat lady, bat chick. Like you're not even trying. <sighs> anyway. Um, yeah, she was smiling at the radio whenever, and then she, whenever she was listening, and when she said the name. So yeah, apparently she knows. Um, with 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 or without evidence, I guess that's. Why, I'm thinking that's why she was trying to get, uh, or she wanted a bodyguard, Mary, trying to get information from her. Which I don't know why she would think that she would want tell her anything, because as as we saw, she was pretty uh, protective over Kate, of you know her being dumped, and then she you know, listen, uh, she couldn't help listening in on the conversation that Sophie and her husband were having that she apparently never told her about Kate at all, told him about Kate at all, even even saying that they barely even knew each other. I mean, that's... <laughs> Jesus. What... Does it, does it just not... Does it not know that you were... that you're gay or bi, I guess? I don't know, like... 
like are you bi or you're just like in this marriage because why 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 like I'm trying to figure out I, I assumed she was actually bi but I mean it seems like she's trying to hide now that she was gay at all <laughs> like at the academy I know they were saying something about them not allowing that uh, uh, homos uh, homosexuality but did they not allow that at you know working here either I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out why she didn't tell her about. I mean, about you know that Kate was her ex. Because I mean, your next your your partner is gonna know that you've had exes exes before. I don't know why that's such a big deal for her to keep that a secret, other than, other than it being you know she's trying to hide that she was gay in the first place, or that is gay, not was. Um, I don't know. And she's she does seem affected the fact that Kate is uh kind of mingling now with somebody else. I wasn't saying that. She's not, they're not quite going out. But, you know, this Regan girl who seems into her... I'm, I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt, okay? You know what? I'm, I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. But I, if she stabs in the back... Mm -hmm, I'm going to be none too happy. But it seems things are okay with between Kate and Mary. Because in the last episode, she was like... Um, she was telling Kate... Tell Beth that she doesn't have to worry anything to worry about. She doesn't have to worry about a competition between a, us, um, because she felt like she didn't want to have anything to do with her. The fact that she kind of ditched on their uh, dinner plans, not that she really meant to, but things happen. She couldn't tell her I was being Batwoman. Well, I was being I was, I was pretending to be Batman. No, she wasn't doing. That. I was donning the bat suit, and then I saved your life. So, unless she, she needs to tell her. <laughs> I feel like she needs to tell her. Especially if she gets injured, she can have some help. Best way to do it without having to go to the hospital and explain that. Um, cause it's just, your sister is now, she's running a basically underground hospital anyway, so. It would be beneficial in more than one way. I don't know if they showed the gauntlet thing, the like that would uh, basically fry the uh, railgun. That's supposed to pierce the bat suit, which is really bad. But it's not something Bruce would do in the first place. Uh, make a a contingency if he were to be mind controlled. Um, but you would think it would it would be more so like you know to um, I was gonna say decapitate. I meant a, a incapacitate <laughs> um, rather than kill. But I mean, you could use it to shoot them, shoot them in the leg, and that would incapacitate them as well. But anyway, um. Um, I don't know if they showed that, but they did show the double side. No, wait, did they? I think, I don't remember. One sec. Okay, yeah, well, anyway, it wasn't important, but I was, wasn't sure if they, were show, if they showed the, the gauntlet thing as well. But they showed the double, the double-sided grappling hook, which I was thinking it was like the zipline thing he has in like Arkham, the Arkham games. But it was just a, a double-sided grappling hook that, you know, can hold things, um, no, I just, I just thought it was interesting that like that's the have they done that again. The last episode was the the rebreather and then the laser saw, so I just think it's interesting that that's kind of how they're showing that they're going to use this this gadget. Probably they're going to use it later on in the episode, and they they literally like the camera like zoomed in on it whenever that she was leaving. So again, which why did he bring her there in the first place? Why like the cops even let her or let Luke take Kate into the the crime scene, you know, where something was stolen? Cause I don't, I mean, I don't think she has any kind of inheritance to his stuff, right? He's not exactly presumed dead, so he doesn't have, she doesn't have any say in it, I don't think. I mean, I know she's allowed in the, the in the building, like up top. I'm pretty, I'm thinking. Is it, is it just because he's allowing her to come in? I just thought it was interesting. It was weird that they let her through. I don't know. I mean, maybe he, he just has the clearance to let her through. I guess I don't know. Sorry about that. I just wasn't sure. Oh yeah, so. Speaking of, or not anything about it, but since Tommy apparently was like their main backer of you know, the Crows, so now that he's arrested and being sent to Arkham, is that going to do anything to that? <laughs> like, ah, are they going to just, uh, what's the word? Are they going to take his funds or whatever? Are they going to take his money now? I don't know. I'm not really sure. I was, I was just, I'm not sure that was going to affect him in any kind of way. Like, he's going to stop backing them, or because he's arrested, their money, his money's kind of, like his assets are going to be frozen. 
I have no idea. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't think about that till just now, actually. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's my guy for this episode, though. Some things were different about Tommy that, um, like, I was expecting him to be a little smarter. Like, I figured out that Bruce is Batman on his own, and at least put two and two together that Kate was is gonna is Batwoman. Um, and then he could fight better. I mean, he wasn't a terrible fighter, I don't think. Like, Kate's still new and everything, so I, I don't know, because maybe he'll come back and he'll be better, or maybe he'll go away and train someone. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he was a good fighter, wasn't he? Wasn't he? Sorry if I'm wrong, because, I mean, he's Hush. So I'm pretty sure he's like a... I know he was, like, intellectually uh, a foe for Batman, I'm pretty, but I'm pretty sure he was also, like, from, in combat that they, they were pretty close. I'm feeling really fuzzy on that. <laughs> I'm really stupid. So yeah, there, we just keep getting more and more suspicions on, you know, on uh, Catherine. There's these numbers that show up that, that Beth left that have some significance to her. Um, and she's really, really trying hard to steer um, Kate and Beth's dad away from the, fact that, from the possibility that Alice is Beth. I'm not sure what the deal is there. Um, and then we finally got the fact that Kate is now going to be Beth woman. She's got her a wig. Don't know where she got it from, but there it is. Um, so now she's finally in her own. So it's going to be cool going forward to see more where you're going to be picking up next episode. But for now, guys, that's it for this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to stick around for next next episode, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you want to check out more of our stuff, go ahead and visit the channel. Also, if you want to support us, go ahead and check out our Patreon. You can access the polls to vote on shows that will be uh, replacing anything, early access videos to certain shows. Um, stuff like that. A link for that will also be in the description down below. Again, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you all next week.